We all agree tonight, all of the speakers have agreed that America has a very serious problem. Not only does America have a very serious problem, but... Tell people who you are and about your book, darling. Okay, well, I'm Lizette Carter, of course. And basically what my book is about an interracial couple, a black woman and a white guy, Lacey and Tony, who are at the beginning of their relationship. And everything's going very well for the couple. They're very happy, very much in love until she meets his mom. So his mom cannot stand this black woman being with her white son, it's a baby boy. Uh -oh. She's doing everything she can possibly to break them up. Now on the other side of the coin is this black male, hint, hint, who can't stand the idea of this black woman being with this white guy. Not to mention, he wants the black woman for himself. But the real twist comes when Lacey's ex-fiance returns with a secret. And he's the guy that she originally broke up with to be with the white guy. I smell, guess who's coming to lunch? <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's what, that, that's what, but you know, it's a flip. Kind of like a flip of guess who's coming to dinner. So, question, um, what, uh, it looks like you published the book on your own. Yes, I did. Yes, I Tell did. me what the, what the, um, and it looks like you went through a couple of different printings. If you notice, she has um, her, I guess this looks like her first printing. And this looks like it might be the second printing. Amazing, amazing stuff here. And then finally, she's come up with a reprint of the book that it looks like she's going to stick with this one because the cover, if, if you know marketing, looks something like a movie that's going on. So it makes people think, hey, this is a movie. I want to read it. It gives that illusion. So this is this is how you do marketing in, in 2008. Um, what's, the, what's the best thing about publishing for you? Independence and being able to have the say-so, being able to have total control of your, of your work. And what's the hardest part uh, about uh, publishing on your own? Um, the hardest part is getting noticed, but I love that part because I, that's something I like to do, is talk to people and interact with people. That's just about the hardest part. All right, great. Well, I want to drop you. I gave you my card. I need your card. And uh, you can check out her book, and um, you can, of course, go to Amazon.com. But she has her own website, and I'm sure she wants to tell you her website is? LizetteGraysonCarter.com. LizetteGraysonCarter.com. You can do a web search on Lizette Grayson Carter or Lizette G. Carter or, of course, the color line, and you'll come up with all the information. Shame on you if you don't know how to do that already. <laughs> Love you. Thank you, darling. Wait, how are you? Nice to meet you. Could you tell us about your book? Books, I'm sorry, books. Books, plural. Okay, my title, Youngin, is about a young man I entitled Ryan Moore, who feels as though he's going through a midlife crisis at the young age of 18. And in this title, he, has to, he feels that he has to do anything he can to make money by any means necessary, and that includes stick-ups and robberies. Where are you and from? I'm from Albany, New York, mm -hmm. and um, I'm originally from the city. Okay. But uh, my family migrated from Birmingham to Manhattan and Albany, New York, upstate. That's beautiful. Um, it looks like you started publishing on your own. Yes, I... My, and um, we like, I'd like to ask people what the, uh, what the best thing is about publishing books on your own. Self-satisfaction, you get to um, pretty much do things your way. It's the only way I know because I have I've only been self-published. I have nothing really to compare it to. So, and what's the hardest thing about publishing yourself? Getting doors open for you. Wow, that's so big. That's so big. Well, we thank you. And um, where's your, what's your website? Um, the website is BrathwaitePublishing.com and um, ArleneBrathwaite.com. I have two sites. Of course, you have a MySpace page. What's MySpace that? backslash Arlene Brathwaite. Okay. Thanks a lot, darling, and enjoy the book fair, the 10th Annual Harlem Book Fair. All right, Max Rodriguez. This is Pat George. Pat George is uh, one of the... Let me let you tell, because I heard you tell it last night. It was great. Uh, exactly what did you want me to tell? Should I tell the edited version or the, you know... Tell the raw version. The raw version? Like Alright, now look, I'm older than you, but I will... Well, never mind. Listen, I'm... Anyhow, I'm Pat.
at George A. Walker, author with Kensington Daphina. This is my latest book, Somewhat Saved. You know, they're not all the way, just somewhat. Most people know me as Sister Betty, the Christian comedian. Uh, this is like my sixth book or something like that. Number six on Essence, August bestseller. Act like you know. Act like you know. And I'm here today just having a great time with my peep and a fellow Mount Vernon. Mount Person. Vernon in the house. How you do that? Well, whatever. Walking along in Mount Vernon. Money earning. Money earning. Going right there, Mount Vernon Hospital. That's it. That's me. Okay. And uh, I'm here with one of the funniest, underrated, don't have a bit of ego about him, relentless Thank in you what so he does. Much. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I'm here signing today. So, um... What's the best thing about your books that attracts people to you and your books and your themes? Well, most people know that I write about church folks. Ooh, and, yes. you mean hypocrisy? All of that. Oh. Well, let me put it to you this way. The name of the church is Ain't uh, Nobody Right But Us. But Us. All others go into hell. Woo-wee. Pastored by the Reverend Not Enough Money. This woman is too much. You definitely want to get one of her books. I sell her books. They move very fast. Don't have any more left. This is Pat George. Tell Pat, Pat, tell people your MySpace page, please. Uh, www.sisterbetty.com. And uh, also, it's Pat George Walker. I had to chase that man a long time. Don't leave off my last name. You got it. He was not easy to get. I love you. I love you too, baby. <laughs> I love you. Thank you, sweetheart. So I'm here with two of my devoted readers. Uh, that would be Debbie. Yes. And, hi. And Michelle. Hello. How are you? Um, Michelle, owe me some money. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and I hate him. You fucking don't need him. We have to hunt the man down so we can get our fix on the books. Wow, that's crazy. What do you think about my books? What? <laughs> I don't share them. I make people go out and buy them. That's and then we have conversations about them. Oh my, okay. Oh my. <laughs> so this got to be a book club meeting that I'm invited to one of these days. No, no formal book club. No formal right? book club. It's, 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 a loose, it out, it's a loose right? book club. It's a loose book club. Okay, that's I a good read one. them and then I send them out to everybody and then we have conversations. Wow. So what's the book that you've been conversating about uh, as it relates to Relentless? Like, the, what got the most conversation? Was it extramarital affair? Uh, was it King. oh, kingpin at the time? Oh, oh, it's all of them. I ain't even got lied to you. Well, I've read every one of your books. I have every one of your books. Right. You see, I have to hunt you down for a pre-book because right. I'm special. I need it before everybody else. That's so um. big. That's so big. So we're at the 2008 Harlem Book Fair. It's their 10th annual. Came all annual. the way from the Bronx just to find you. Yes. This is crazy. This is 125th Street. You hear that? When you shopping outside of selling books, we tracking you down. I'm guilty. I wear all of that. Thank you. <laughs> and we love you. Thank you. So um, they, this is this is why I do what I do, folks. And um, Deborah and Michelle, thank you so much. Love you so much. Karen, if you don't come over here, I'm coming over there. Hi, Karen. Hi. This is my friend, Karen. From A and B Books. Talk to me, Karen. How you doing? Hey, how are you today? I'm doing good. I haven't seen you in a while, but I still do love you. Thank you. And we've been together for a long, long time. But yes. you know, you've come almost a far like away. we're married. Yeah, you've come a very far away. I'm very, very proud of you. You know. Thank but you. But I still do enjoy push mostly. I call it push. Even she enjoyed push, push most, yeah. mostly. Okay. Yeah. So I'm still pushing push. Isn't that, she's still pushing push, that's big. And that's like but, the first book I put yeah. out, it's all good. But I wish you all the best and a lot of blessings, okay? Well, thank you so much, Karen. She's, she's a, man, a woman of little words, but very a lot of power behind this woman right there. Very serious. She makes it click in the book industry. Don't get it twisted. Thank you, sweetheart. Thanks, Karen.